Hey guys, Justin here again from Simplify Investing. I wanted to put together this video as it's been requested by a lot of you. And basically what it is going to be about is how to minimize emotions when trading. There's a six, six step procedure that I use to ensure that you will help overcome emotions and personally how it's helped me greatly become more profitable when trading. So getting things started off here, first and foremost, before I start, if you guys could like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We are doing a big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. The first step that I have that I found to be really helpful is play small. And you may be wondering what I mean by that. I simply mean don't use all the money within your bank account or whatever to trade. You are going to be emotionally attached to that money so it is going to be more difficult to become profitable if you are attached to that money. What I typically recommend is for people to say use 5 or 10% or whatever it might be but you have to become comfortable with trading with that money because if you're going to be emotionally attached to that money when you're trading it is going to be very difficult. I will flip over here to the screen of Thinkorswim so you guys can see my setup. The second thing that I have is don't sit and stare at your positions. This is something that has really, really, really helped me find more consistency and not be as emotionally attached. And what I mean by this is set alerts. Don't just sit there and stare at a position and be like, oh, it's breaking or oh, whatever. Simply set your alerts for that position and you'll take your emotions out of it instead of staring at it and having your emotions go back and forth the entire time. The third tip that I found really helpful and that will really help you guys is to develop a plan and stick to it. As you guys know, developing a plan is something that I preach to all of our members and ultimately all of you guys in the audience. So you may be wondering what do you mean by developing a plan? Whether This can range from a lot of things. Whether it be you want to get 10% on this position, you're watching Netflix break this support, break above this support, Ultimately, whatever it might be, everybody's plan is different, but if you do develop a plan, it will greatly, greatly help you find more consistency and ultimately become more profitable. The fourth step that I preach is trade positions you are comfortable with. And what I mean by this is don't go all in one position with your account. So say you have one grand in your account and you're only comfortable with trading $100 a position then simply trade $100 a position. It ain't going to be any different than if you trade 200 whatever, it, ultimately whatever it might be. But if you do trade with 1000 in one trade and not practice proper account management, you are going to be emotionally attached to that as you see it move a lot more rapidly than if you were to take several small positions and build up your, uh, I guess what you could say, you could build up your confidence in your trading and ultimately in your plan. The next one that I think will greatly help you guys as well is make trades during less volatile times. If you're starting off, you are going to be emotional when trading. There isn't going to be a trader that is not emotional when they first start out. So you have to make trades during less volatile times and practice these setups. So as you guys know, the most volatile times will be the first hour of market open and the last hour of market open. So if you're looking for less volatile times, to simply get an understanding or a feel for trading, then trade in between those hours. Don't trade market open and close as they are going to be very volatile. And by doing this, you will ultimately become more comfortable and it's something that takes time. As time goes on, you'll become more and more comfortable with your trades and your plan and ultimately it will gradually keep taking emotions out of your trades. The last thing that I recommend is paper trading with a strategy. And this isn't something that's typically my favorite to use simply because if you do paper trade you take out the entire pretty much emotions aspect to it however you can gain not or gain confidence in your trading strategy if you do find success in paper trading so there are people that are for paper trading and against it i personally am not one for it because it you aren't trading with real money so you could care less about your position but if you do find consistency with your trading strategy, at least it will give you a little bit more comfort heading into your position, which ultimately will help you become more profitable, like I keep mentioning, and ultimately taking emotions out of it. As you guys know, emotions are going to be like 90% of trading because you are going to make ill-wise decisions that you shouldn't make because A, you're scared to lose money, 
or B, you're rushing the trade too fast. So that's something too that you need to focus on is sticking to a plan, creating a plan, and realize that trading isn't going to be an overnight success. There's people out there that say it, it will be an overnight success or whatever it might be. And I'm the first person to tell you that it's not. It's something that's going to take time for you to master, but ultimately it's so rewarding in the end. You aren't going to become a millionaire from trading in the first week. It's just simply not possible. But you can gradually and consistently grow your account as you develop your strategy, figure out a plan, and ultimately figure out a goal or target that you have for your account. And this, like I keep mentioning, is going to be different for all members. However, by sticking to a plan, creating a plan, playing small, and uh, practicing your trades with paper trading, you can greatly increase your odds of success and ultimately greatly decrease the emotions that are involved when trading. As always, if you guys found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. If you could check out simplifiedinvesting.site, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks.